Yo, beautiful, it's Kyle Miller, America's Complete Life Coach, here to talk to you about Steve Jobs, the master of urgency. So what, what makes Steve Jobs a master of urgency? Well, first off, Apple. Let's look at Apple, how he created that, the passion that he had behind it. He, he was able to, at Apple, create so many products like the iPhone, just so many products, the Mac and all these things because he lived his dreams. And apples, like apples are really tasty too. I, I really enjoy that fruit quite honestly. Like it's one of my favorite fruit, like a, I don't know, like a Fuji, Fuji or something, Pink Lady, but back on target with apple. But um, I guess that was on topic but not really but Steve Jobs anyways Steve Jobs is absolutely passionate about his work time was his most important resource and so he was very urgent about his time the way he spent it and he only filled his life with things that he absolutely loved he went to the restaurants he absolutely loved he ate the food that he absolutely loved he spent time with the people that he absolutely loved. I mean, that's why he always enlisted his team with team team players or like what he called eight, 18 players. And, and he just wanted to be around people that filled him, that fulfilled his dreams, that helped him achieve his purpose. And along with it, spending time with his family, he enjoyed that too. And he, he was able to impact so many lives. A story about Steve Jobs is uh, when they were trying to make the iPhone, they didn't want just a screen that would crack. I mean, they, they, didn't, they want the best. They want the hardest glass. And they, he heard about, Steve Jobs heard about this um, engineer that was engineering this glass that would be almost unbreak, unbreakable or a lot less hard to break. So he was able to find this, this engineer and he met with him and he, the guy was started talking about it and he was like, that's wonderful, I want it. I want it in a few months for our production because that's when we're releasing the iPhone and he was like, are you crazy? Like this is just all in designs. We don't have the man, the factories to make this glass and everything. But Steve Jobs was so urgent about his time, and he was so passionate that he was able to tell him, like, look at his hand, and he started looking at his hand and started talking about the iPhone and how beautiful and how much it would change the world and what part he would play by bringing this glass to this iPhone so that they can have the screen that wouldn't scratch as easy. And so he, he inspired that other man to use his time and make that happen, it did happen. And he, Steve Jobs, I guess some of the greatest lessons that we can learn from him is that he just filled his life, even though he died earlier than he expected. From a disease, he filled his life with the things that matter most to him. Do you do that? Do you fill your life with the things that you are most passionate about? How would life be if every moment you were doing something that you loved? That you were spending time, your time the way you wanted? Think of that. Think of how beautiful life would be. And how fulfilled you would feel. So beautiful, think about how you can fill your life with beauty and the things that you're passionate about so that your last breath when you die, even though this isn't the end, uh, won't be of any regrets. You'll take away the what ifs in your life and life will be beautiful. So peace out.